So when I come into an establishment and I come up upon a toilet and uh, it looks like that, and it's obviously wet and leaking, and some idiot didn't use stainless steel, it is obvious. I gotta pull this toilet apart and make it right. So I like to start off first by getting my slow valve, my closet valve all rebuilt. Other than the the valve, I will mess with that unless it's uh, leaking bad. <laughs> I haven't done one of those yet, but I'm willing to learn. I'll put a new vacuum brake around there. Got a new spud right there, just in case that one is not gonna hold and I have to dremel it off. And then uh, I got that completely rebuilt. New diaphragm and new handle kit. Now my next second step is to pull, is, is to see if those bolts will come off. If, if they don't, well, I got a tool that will take that out. It's called a Dremel with a cutoff wheel on it. Oh my goodness, it is actually working. So this is great. I just gotta have the other side do it. The seat, see, see the way this thing's moving around? I mean, you can't really see it, but anyways, I bet you anything, once I pull this toilet, these bolts, they're just hanging on by their little ears uh, and a little plastic clip, which is not enough. You need to put a bolt underneath this thing to hold this floor to bowl bolt in place. See now the other side, it's a whole different ball game, man. A whole different ball of wax. This, uh, this nut is just K-roaded. I might have, I'll work out a little bit, but I'll probably have to end up having to go get my Dremel. Stretch out the extension cord, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're gonna Dremel the sucker off. Safety first. PPE, number one. Protect your eyes. Uh, those, those, if you hit them the wrong way, they will fly. They will break off and these glasses have saved my bacon several times. So uh, we can uh, maybe possibly get a shot. I know my phone's in the, on a bathroom floor. Oh my God, tell me about it. I'm just gonna have to sterilize it after this. That's why I'm wearing gloves, but let's see what we got. Let's put some light on the subject. Hence the headlight, so. Like Kerry Gold grass fed butter. Like butter. You know what I'm saying? I have a feeling I'm gonna drop this this uh, phone in the toilet and then I'm really gonna be bummed out. Okay folks, now I need to get rid of that water that's in the bowl. Because it will make a mess and we'll spend 15 minutes cleaning it up. Proceed to bring it level. Oh, oh, it's leaking now, man. Oh, I made a little mess. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was trying to avoid. And yet, it didn't work. mess. Still trying to figure out how to how to do that without making this mess because you know, this just adds to your your workload and uh, be nice to figure out a way that uh, gets things done efficiently and saves you a step particularly in particular the mopping step. So, see here. Huh, what? Oh, there actually is a bolt. Wow, that amazes me. Uh, this one, 
However, it doesn't have a bolt. So see the whole thing just comes out right out. Like here, see they have a bolt. I don't know, you can't really see that, but there's a bolt on there. It's holding it, it's holding it good. This one came off of my hands. And that is part of the problem. So we're gonna make it right. I like to use a little acetone to uh, let that soak a little bit and then try to get some of this crap up. Sometimes it don't come up. Sometimes this, the, the tiles just stay. But definitely want the wax off there because it's just, it's just nasty. Maybe if I took a little green scrubby to that with some acetone, it'll uh, bring that up. Let's try that. So the acetone and the green scrubby didn't really do anything, wasn't affected. Not a little bit, but you know, it's it's just stained, it's old. And so you just gotta make sure to put the toilet back and then put some good caulking in there to kind of even it out. We'll see. See, I got my new bolts on. And I like to put a bolt, a washer and a bolt there because it's not going anywhere. But you don't want to go too crazy on over tightening these. Like this one in the past was over tightened and it tends to spread this little channel out. So you don't want to over tighten them. That's important too. I personally like to use acetone on a lot of stuff. And number one, so as part of that, I like to make sure that the surface around the toilet underneath is clean, free of debris. Hey, you, you know, don't go crazy or anything, but you gotta get it clean. Cause you're gonna put, some, you're gonna put a decent uh, sealant underneath here, right? And uh, you, want it, you want it to stick to something. So I just do this. Get her clean, man. Pretend like it's your toilet, man. This is the way you'd want to have done it at home, right? That's right. Sometimes the uh, caulking is so built up on there, and, and even the acetone sometimes you get it until you get the majority of it. Where's the razor blade? Just kind of go along. Chunk her out, man. Show it who's boss. Don't let it win, ever. Old buddy of mine, Marshall Bond said, don't let him win. You're gonna beat this thing. Many, many evenings on call out on a major leak. And my buddy Marshall Bond, because we're not gonna let this win. That's the attitude. Good attitude, it's hard to keep though. Sometimes you feel like you're just kicking your butt. Take a gander underneath there. Make sure that that little plastic uh, uh, wax ring, you know, little adapter they put on there, a little funnel deal. Just make sure it's not there. Just give it a quick wipe down. Make sure there's no ex excessive buildup. Oh, I feel like a ooh, ooh, man. Look at that. Would you, would you, oh, would you just, take a look at that, man? Just take a look at that. Take a look at it. Go on, take a look at it. It's okay to look. That's a ball of wax, man. So I like to use these with that little ring on them right there. And I finally read directions and after about 25 years and uh, the directions say stick it on down there. So the last couple times I've tried to do that and uh, it worked out pretty good. You just gotta get in there. You usually just stick it right on the flange right there, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it this way. I'm gonna give her a go. I'm just gonna make sure you don't smash it down prematurely. Okay, so we got that on there. Okay, so, and that is not tightened down yet, the bowl, to the floor. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna turn this on because if this is not aligned, you're gonna get a leak right here, so. Uh, I hate doing this. This is the worst part of it. Actually, I'm, you know, I'm checking for leaks. This O-ring here, the handle, because I rebuilt it, the new vacuum breaker, and the, the top there for the diaphragm. Ooh. Looks like we're building up in the bowl. What's going on here? I'm gonna go ahead and flush it. I think we got enough seal on the wax ring, but 
Oh, not doing anything. How weird is that? Oh, see, we got a, we got a spud leak. Oh, got a spud leak. Got a spud leak. Okay, so there's, there's like a little uh, washer and a friction washer right underneath here. So I tried to snug it down a little bit. Hopefully, I don't. I can get away with not having to replace the spud because I only have one left. I like to have one on hand for true emergencies, but we'll see. We'll see if it, I snugged it down, we'll see. So far so good, I need to turn up the pressure a little bit. Maybe just a tad bit more. And you know, you got it. Okay, so this is a 1.6, right? I'm pretty sure this is a 1.6 liter per foot. 1.6 liter per foot uh, diaphragm. Okay, I think that's it. No leaks, we're good. So we have a pretty good gap going on here because of the, the floor flange, the flange to the bowl sticks up pretty excessive, so. What I'm going to do is I got some little shimmy dudes right here, okay? And I'm going to situate them in such a, such a way where they're going to be under there. And, and then I will caulk around it and cover them up. And once the caulk dries, the sealant dries, we'll be good to go. So I've come to discover I don't like those. I think they're, they don't work good, and I prefer my old school uh, cedar shims. Okay, we're tag teaming up with the plastic shims. We got the one right there, a little plastic there, a little wood there. This side's uh, not bad, actually. So that's how imperfect the floor is. So I'll just give those a couple more snug downs, hopefully, just, just the right amount, because you don't want to break your bowl. So I'm going to give it one more wipe down around where I'm going to caulk with some acetone just to clean it up, make sure there's no wax residue so that the uh, caulking and sealant has somewhere to stick. Okay, this is what I like to do. I like to mask around it because then I can get a good bead. I can really squeeze it in underneath it. And then when I rip up the stuff, it's not as bad as just going freehand. I mean, yeah, it take, took an extra five minutes, but for me, it's worth it, especially around these grout lines. You get that caulking up in the grout line. It's just kind of hard to make it all look even. There we go. So I'm going to try to use this as a wiping uh, medium and kind of try to uh, finish this off. But I'm not going to try to mess with this grout line because you'll mess it up. I'll mess it up. And yeah, so we'll see. Well, I guess that's good enough. You can see where the plastic shim is, right there. That's the plastic shim. Um, don't see the wood ones there. Uh, I might see a little bit of wood right there, but not bad. I'm gonna keep these bolts kind of sticking up like this. You know, you're trying to go fancy, cut them off and put uh, plastic caps on them. And they just get crappy. There, there's no good way, no good work around for this. And I just leave them like that because probably in about a year I'll be back because, well, no, we'll see, you know. We'll, we'll see how this holds. Normally I would put the stall out of service because I would want to allow this caulking to dry and cure and really set up and act as a cushion and a base for this toilet. But since this is a really busy cafe, I don't want to put this out of service, so I'm just going to kind of hope that it, it does good on its own. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, FYI, whenever I do a toilet, I always make it. I clean up everything around here. I clean it as if I wanted to use this bathroom. Now, whether or not it stays that way, uh, and give the associates something, a goal, you know, hey, got a baseline, it's nice and clean, let's keep it that way. Doesn't work that way though.